11. It's time for game number three between Sheth and Mo Man. I'm Day Nine. And I'm Mr. Bitter, and we are still waiting for the map choice. I'm really eager to see what it's going to be. Uh -huh. uh, Mo Man, you know, if I had to compare him to a North American player, I would probably compare him to somebody like Slush because. Oh, that's a great comparison, yeah. They're both awesome but they're both incredibly <laughs> non-normal, you know? They don't do things that you see. Like, they have play styles that are completely unique. And uh, in the last game, he played pretty standard. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I wonder, what is he going to fall back on in game three, the deciding game of this match? You know, he is choosing MLG Shakura's Plateau. Now, if you think back to kind of how the choosing went with what happened in the game, Sheth chose Metalopolis, which mm -hmm. is a very difficult map to play on if you don't have good timings. Right. So it could have been the possibility that Mo Man said, you know what, I'm just going to try to Ling Baneling it and roll with it and see how it turns out. But now right. that it's his choice of Shakur's Plateau, that's a much more defense-oriented yes. map. It's very easy to get good building positioning mm -hmm. to wall off against those Ling Baneling plays. And that might be what Mo Man's counting on to do a late roach uh, transition. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, Shakur's Plateau is, in my opinion, one of the very few maps where you could literally go hatch first, tech right up to roaches, and somehow, and you know, defend both your natural and your ramp with just roach. Uh, it's, it's really tough to do that, especially against speedling openings on more open maps, because lings are able to you know, do surrounds and things like that. Uh, like on Metalopolis, defending your natural with just roaches against pure speedling can be super tough because the hatchery is kind of exposed there. Mm -hmm. In the top left position, the man playing under the name Brain, who showed us some ultra aggressive play in game number two, it is Mo Man. What are we going to do today, Brain? <laughs> Snarf. Uh, okay, down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, the North American Zerg superstar from Team Liquid, it is Shep. And now I have to ask a really important question. In, in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, what was the name of the brain? Craig. Craig. That, that was literally <laughs> the end of that line of questioning. Now, I just had that itch, and I knew that was going to throw my commentary off Is that off right? Kilter. I think that's right. It was Craig, right? Yeah, good, getting confirmation from the crowd. Rock and roll. And no one even needed to consult Wikipedia. These yeah. are just things that we know <laughs> collectively. Yeah. And it looks like we do see the early pool by Liquid Chef. Interesting. And early pool by Brain. Neither guy getting, uh, getting gas first, so it's... 15 spawning pool, maybe, I, this is this is cool. Uh, maybe 15 pool, 15 hatch? I'm not really yeah, sure. This is a very, okay, there's a gas down for Momon. So he's doing what I would call a pseudo nurtio opening, and in fact, Sheth's doing the same thing, where you go pool and then gas. So here's my instinct in this sort of position. Both players are going to probably be throwing down their expansion hatchery before they do much of anything else, and they're going to get speed fairly quickly, but they're not going to be getting it ultra fast. They're not going to try to line the end yeah. of the pool up right with that first 100 gas. It looks like that's what Sheth is doing. But we're not seeing that. We're, well, we have a drone with a lot of indecision. He's going around. It looks like he just kind of wanted to go home. And Roach Warren. Roach Warren immediately. Okay. That's a, that is a mighty fast Roach Warren. This is a Momon build. Uh, this is something that I would expect to see out of him. This is something uh, a little bit unorthodox. You know, in the European circle, people have a nickname for Momon. It's 21 drones. 21 drones. Wow. He's because the blackjack, Zerg. Once yeah. he hit 21, he stays. Yeah, he stays right there on 21 and then makes something happen. Uh, the players gave him a lot of flack for that at the last Home Story Cup, and he tried to play macro style, and he lost terribly. <laughs> now, since then, he's shaped up a lot. His macro play has cleaned up a lot. But he still has that, uh, uh, I guess, that liking of this aggressive, low eco play. You know, he'll be at like, he'll be at like 75 drones. And then right when he hits Hive, he'll build like 54 spine crawlers, <laughs> and then just go straight for the Brood Lords. Were you doing that math when I was? You probably did it. Just <laughs> yeah, that's why I was speaking slowly because I didn't want to. <laughs> couldn't mess that up, oh, man. I had man. to hit it dead on. <laughs> Uh, well. Does look like Liquid Chef is going for the kind of delayed speed zergling play, has his queen positioned at the front. And we see, interestingly, Mo Man is getting the metabolic boost upgrade as well, but what he is going to do is first build a good chunk. Ooh, ooh, Chef literally walks in and sees everything. Yeah, Chef getting an excellent scout here. This is very important. Uh, I mean, it, it, to me, and I think you're, you're probably hitting at it too, Sean, it looks like Momon wants to do some sort of one base roach speedling all in. Uh, but uh, I, 
I just I don't see it working with the spine crawler and with the amount of speedlings Chef's going to be able to pump out. It's going to be so hard for Momon to make this succeed. I actually think that the best response for Chef is to go way drone heavy and just build two, three, four spine crawlers, pull far ahead in economy, and as long as he has these monitoring zerglings mm -hmm. leading the charge, he'll be in good shape. But of course, Mo Man yep. doing his Mo Man thing, going to open up with the fast roaches, immediately get the hatch down. Did he actually let zergling speed finish? Well, oh, he did. Oh, this is scary. Because Sheth now has all these speedlings and only four roaches. That doesn't do that well. And Sheth's going to be able to surround these roaches if Momon comes down. Oh, this is the worst position imaginable. This is why roach expand is a little bit iffy. Uh, you've yeah. really got to have five, six, maybe ten roaches out before you can safely take that hatch. Right. <laughs> five, six, or 20 roaches. <laughs> five, six, 32 and a half. Kidding. And it looks like, oh, hold position. Comes back to bite Chef a little bit. There's a couple players out there who use hold position sometimes a little bit too often. Idra and Chef, notable examples of this. We see another hatchery getting planted again at the natural expansion. We do see that Mo Man has the lead in food, but that can be, again, quite deceptive as yeah. the roaches are quite expensive in the food count. And ooh, this is what Mo Man, I think, was preparing for. Look how many drones he has. Does, is it, oh my god, he has 21 drones. But he does back it up, so I guess he just wanted to poke out and make Sheth a little bit nervous there. Sheth has been doing an excellent job of droning up. He's on 31 drones and 22 speedlings. Uh, so his, uh, his economy is healthy, and he has lots of map control. Uh-oh. Looks like losing a few more Zerglings. I'm kind of torn of what Sheth's tech path should be. I think that going straight for the layer and air is probably going to end up being the best. I mean, at this point, mm -hmm. you kind of know your opponent is a little bit pinned back. Uh, you know he has to play the defensive game and focus on the roaches, and you can exploit that by having a variety of tech. It does, though, look like Chef is going to be going for the Evo Chamber Roach War and just going to play it standard and try to win with the drone count, but again, he can slip in this very fast layer. Yeah, he's getting that layer. He's also going straight up to four gas, and four gas is a little bit more than you need to sustain roach production off of two bases. Uh -huh. So that makes me think that he might have you know, an ulterior motive. He's like, all right, I'm getting this roach warrant. If I need to make mo roaches, there, it's there, uh, but uh, I can also tech up really hard if I, if I choose to do that, if I have the time to do that. Looks like the Evo Chamber is down. A plus one attack going up. Extremely important upgrade. That allows your roaches to rip through Zerglings yes. with ease two shots instead of three once you get that plus one up. We do see Sheth has not really begun building a big swell of roaches. Still kind of devoting most of his efforts to drone. Is getting that plus one upgrade as well. He's, He's going to have to be careful, though, because if he allows Momon to push with his plus one while, you know, while Sheth is... Okay, now here come the roaches. So Sheth should be pretty safe here, uh, especially with this spine crawler wall at the front. He's also got these lings out there giving him so much scouting intel. He's going to know exactly when Momon tries to take a third base. He's got both those corners covered, and look at this. These expansions are not in the normal spot. What? This is, this is a weird version of Shakur's Plateau. Oh, no. Hmm. Huh. This is not the correct version of Shakur's Plateau. Are there rocks back here? No, man. Yeah. No, oh, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm yeah. actually not quite... You know, we actually we have to do this. We have to do this. Hi. Map is hosted on wrong version. Please consult a referee. You know, th this is something that will occasionally come up you know this actually never comes up. I don't know who no, I'm No, 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 no. This came up in, uh, in China, at IEM China. Uh, we had a really hilarious situation where Strelok managed to accidentally host a map where Marines had extra range, damage, and speed. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. And he, and he won. <laughs> and that, well, yeah, I mean, Marines, I don't think, uh, of all units that need an extra little <laughs> boost of help, I think Marines are pretty low on that list. Yeah, I remember seeing like 16 Marines fight against 30 Mutas and just destroy them. And I was like, gee, Marines are really good. <laughs> Marines are dude, great. Wow, what, what fantastic units Blizzard gave Terran. Um, you know, I actually think that that is significant enough that that actually really did need it. I mean, sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, on... on uh, some versions of Shattered Temple, there's like a few extra spaces, you know, mm -hmm. so you, you can only blink one unit at a time instead of like blinking three stalkers at a time. But on something like that, um, on a map like this, when your third is so far away from your main, mm -hmm. you suddenly can't defend both your, ma your second and your third at the same time. Mutalisks um, will be a little bit more effective here. So it looks like both the players agreed to continue to play the game out 
And Sheth is doing the countdown, so we're going to go ahead and hop back right. into the game. But delighted that we didn't actually have to do a reboot. Okay. <laughs> Nine, five, four. <laughs> Three, two, one. Resuming it. All right. Excellent. So <laughs> now, now that we know that we're playing on a map with these backdoor rocks, yeah. Chef, actually, this is a good place to take a third. Yep. It becomes an awesome place to take a third base. Uh, and <laughs> I, I really think the same can be said for Momon. He's got the, le he's got the lesser mobile army. Uh, you know, he's got these slow roaches, and it's going to be a while before he can really do much with them. So uh, y you could knock down those rocks and take a very quick third. There's Sheth immediately going to go to work over here on these, uh, these rocks up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. So. That's actually a great response. I mean, now that's actually an interesting sort of meta consideration. It's like, well, it is the wrong map, but I do have speed zerg, <laughs> so I guess I'm okay. With this, yeah, look at the, look at the Overseer. Oh, the Overseer has no idea that there are Zerglings at the rocks that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Talk about throwing things upside down. Brain has, uh, or Momon has got, opted to get some Hydras out, so he is aware of the possibility of a Muta Switch. Uh, Chef is playing Roach Hydra as well here. We've been seeing a lot of this in ZVZ of late, a shift away from Roach Infester back to Roach Hydra. What do you think about that, Danon? It's, again, one of those uh, facets of aggression. It's less the units that you're building and more the way that you use them. Roach Hydra was just a sort of easy default play, and then people realize that you can plop down some nice Infestors, and so suddenly in Big Army versus big army, it became all about the infestors. But with the Roach Hydra mixes, you can just force engagements when you want. Mm -hmm. And that sort of control is very appealing to the aggressive player. Ooh, it looks like Mo Man is getting ready to move out. Mo Man taking his third base. Once these Zerglings knock down these destructible rocks, ooh, they're going to get really, really close to the opponent. And Chef moving down in the unit station. We do see 33 to 32. Both have the plus one upgrade. This is going to be a very, very close engagement. But it looks like Mo Man... Oh. Oh. Feels like he's behind. Oh, the Zerglings are going to spring up into action, and Chef does get the better of that exchange. That's a decisive win for Chef. That gives him a big army lead, and now he can go forward to try to deny the third base of Momon, and uh, ooh, this could be a pivotal moment in the game, Day 9. Oh, the Zerglings are continuing to poke forward. That means that that counterattack opportunity is essentially gone for Liquid Chef. But now Momon is pulling back. Will he cancel the third? Oh, Chef really wants to force that to cancel. And I think he's going to be successful. I really don't know that there's anything Momon can do. He just doesn't have the Roach numbers. It's 41 Roaches to 39, but there's also Zerglings in the mix, and they take off so much damage. Uh, well, actually, Chef pulls back his Roaches, and he's going to leave just Lings here, and these will get cleaned up. So, Wow. And again, with that plus one upgrade, Roaches are Zergling killers. And, ooh, it looks like Chef wanted to bait the whole army down. He can now catch it out of position. What angle can Momon retreat to? And oh no, it looks like Chef is also getting increasingly close to that plus two upgrade. That's going to help him quite a bit, but I don't actually know if Chef has the better angle oh, no. or more units here. I do think that this battle may very well go to Mo Man. This could go very badly for Chef as his numbers are really starting to dwindle and Mo Man's reinforcements are coming in. Chef trying to wow. micro back. And uh, Momon is going to hold quite handily there with uh, 30 roaches to just 25 remaining for Sheth. So I'm, I'm really glad that Sheth retreated because when it's a line of roaches versus a line of roaches, what the hell do you talk about? <laughs> the roaches in the line are shooting at the other roaches in a line. I mean, I almost just want to bring up all the possible menus I can with numbers and just say, well, look at these. These are going to be a lot more useful, like this tab or maybe this one. We do see that a pair of workers have been killed off by Chef, uh, but m way more units have been killed off by Moman. But keep in mind, those are mainly Zerglings. Mm -hmm. The upgrades are slowly starting to pull ahead for Chef, as he does have plus two, but his plus one is short on the heels. And this top destructible rock path, again, always a huge threat in this version of Shakuras. Yeah, uh, always something you have to keep in mind. And Momon is actually not even spotting uh, the back door entrance there, so that's something he needs to keep in mind. Chef doing the same. You, know, you really need to have an overlord there uh, just to make sure that your opponent doesn't come walk in right behind you. Momon with a big Roach Hydra Force is going to start pushing down through the center of the map. Chef looks like he's just trying to position to receive it whenever it comes through those rocks. Momon has to kill these rocks off because amazingly they exist in this version. <laughs> Oh, Shakur's Plateau. Oh, man. We hardly knew thee. Oh, no. Oh, no. It looks like he was trying to commit to the rocks, but it looks like Chef is going to be able to get the much better angle in the engagement and does have the better upgrades. 
Chef's line of roaches battling against Moman's line know. of roaches. Moman's got a little bit more in the way of Hydralis, though, and they do much better DPS. This is Ooh. still a pretty close fight. 150 supply to 150 supply. Chef is starting to push forward, though, and he's going to focus down a few of these Hydras. It's still so close, Day 9. But it looks like the reinforcements from Moman were unable to get there in time, and the Hydras do remain for Liquid Chef. But if these roaches can break through, they will be able to clean these Hydras up, and it seems like a fairly even exchange. Yeah, what a fight in the center of the map there. Sheth's reinforcing Roaches will arrive, and Moman's reinforcing... Ooh, we've got to be careful about that rally point. Almost misrallying right into Sheth's army. Uh, Sheth is sitting up about 20 supply. Does he really want to attack into this? It looks like he does. Oh, it looks like they are dead even in the unit count for Roaches, but it's those extra Hydras from Sheth that are definitely going to help turn the tide. Those front line of Roaches are just evaporating, but a lot of Roaches from Sheth are quite far behind, but Sheth, again, seizing the opportunity to be aggressive, continues to push forward. Yeah. Yeah, Momon realizing that he can't really fight that, but I don't know that he has a choice at this point. Chef has pushed through uh, well into Momon's side of the map, and he's got a much bigger army here, and this could be the final fight, Day9, as uh, Chef is really bearing down on the European Zerg player. Oh, Chef, who started down 0-1, has won the game number two, and now is pushing back and could potentially win game number three with this very push, allowing him to get that first win in his group. The natural expansion is in shambles. The Hydra is at the back. Some even have double-digit kill counts on them, and good game, Liquid Chef manages to take the win in game number three, giving him a win in his group, starting him off one and zero. Yeah, nice little, uh, nice little best of three we had there. Between